It's nine o'clock in the morning and the Schildergasse pedestrian zone in central Cologne is just waking up. This organ grinder has a long day ahead of him. A few hours later, the crowds will have arrived. The Schildergasse is the busiest shopping street in Germany, but for now, it's still fairly quiet. A few people have headed to the traditional Café Riesa to wait for the stores to open. We're here to test consumer confidence, and they seem like the right people to ask. I'd like to buy a nice jacket, and I'll probably shop around. I'll go to a few different stores, and I don't mind if I end up having to return back somewhere. The cafe itself certainly looks busy. People surely don't tend to save their pennies when it comes to their daily bread, or do they? We ask Gisela Claren, who's been working here for 20 years. People do ask how much things cost, which they never did in the past. And they buy less. We have noticed a change. The Schildergasse dates back to Roman times. During the Middle Ages, it was home to artists who painted coats of arms. Today, it's a commercial hub. It's midday and this shoe store is filling up. This young lady is visiting her grandparents. We ask what brought her to the Schildergasse today. You can find whatever you need. It's all here. The shops here are great. We ask if she has enough spending money. Well, sometimes my grandparents have to help out. <laughs> this little boy also leaves it to others to foot the bill. 40 euros for a pair of shoes is a bit more than his mother intended to spend. She doesn't usually buy much for herself. She spends a lot more on her son. I don't mind spending money on things that are important, like shoes. I can save with the clothes. He grows out of them anyway. It's one in the afternoon. These buskers have found the perfect spot. They're too busy to spare any time to answer our questions, providing some entertainment to people taking a short break from shopping. There are few independent retailers left in the Schildergasse. Rents are high and the well-known chains have taken over. This clothing store opened three years ago. None of the staff are willing to give us an interview. But we do find out that the store managers are satisfied with sales. They haven't noticed any decline in consumer spending. And true enough, the shoppers don't look like they're worrying too much about their bank balances. But these are clearly well-heeled customers. Maybe they're not representative of the general public. It's half past five and we make a quick stop in a high-end store that sells nothing for under 1,500 euros. A wristwatch from here could set you back several hundred thousand euros. So is anyone spending that kind of money these days? We ask the manager. Customers are still willing to treat themselves to a few luxuries that they know they will enjoy. In that respect, we haven't noticed any change. We ask who shops here. It varies. It ranges from young people to regular customers who've been buying here for over nine years. They like to see the same people here in the store. But they range from young to old, casual to very smart. If you spend a day here, then you'll see. After a day out and about in Cologne, we get the feeling that some consumers are just as committed to getting their luxuries as ever. But others, less fortunate, are having to tighten their belts.